it's Darlene. Welcome to my channel. I'm working on a fun project. I'm taking this plain tote bag and creating something really fun. So I already pulled up and uploaded my file from Printable Cuttable Creatables and it's called Lovebirds. It is a super cute, as you can imagine, two birds and it has a lot of hearts. Now it's probably good for like a Valentine's or something like that, but I decided to switch the hearts around and kind of do it a I love books or I love to read and, and so this will be a book tote. You can see over on the top that I have the top middle it says book tote. That is going to be in the back of the tote and this is going to be in the front. So once I cut and then weeded all the pieces I'm now going to assemble them onto the bag like I want them to be and basically I do this. Now I am going to press them differently or separately but I like to put them down and kind of assemble them first. I do with, with with my both my paper and my vinyl projects just because I don't want to guess on the placement when I'm already in the middle of everything or I'm getting ready to, you know, iron on um, you know, being that this is a vinyl project or when it's a paper project, um, already put my adhesive and I'm not even really sure where things are supposed to go. So I put it down, you know, basically like building a puzzle. Make sure I have everything where it's supposed to be and also make sure I have everything. And the reason why I say that is because as I was doing this, I realized, hey, what happened to the eyes? I don't know if I weeded them out or maybe I just didn't cut them. But um, I went back to my Cricut and just uh, recut just or cut because I don't think I did cut them at all. Um, the eyes for both of the birds. Um, so uh, this is... A design that, um, like I mentioned, printable, cuttable, creatables, and um, as you could tell, this this is a website of lots of SVG files, cut files, PNGs, you know, all those things. And I am on their design team, so this is one of my projects. But I will tell you that they are so super easy to cut out and super easy to upload and work with once you put them onto the canvas. I use the Cricut. Um, so I couldn't speak on other cutting machines, but I know with the Cricut, it's very easy. So like I had mentioned, I'm going to put that book tote on the back and then you see how the hearts there say love to read. I hope that's how it reads. That's how I want it to read because I am a really, I do love to read and that is another hobby of mine. Um, so I, as you can tell from my Cricut mat, it's very dirty. <laughs> I probably need to clean it. Um, I do have other new ones, but I really kind of like to clean them off a few times before I even start with the new ones. And I bought this tape. It's kind of like a post-it tape. And I think I got it from scrapbook.com or something, but I'm sure you can get them anywhere. And, um, and I just place it right there on the mat on top of the, in this case, final. Now, once I pressed it down you could see it's a little wrinkly I'm not sure if that material was supposed to have all that heat but you know what it worked out and isn't that so cute I love the colors but I hope you like this video if you're not already um, a subscriber please hit that subscribe button down below I do post two videos a week and I hope you come back to enjoy some more thank you so much for watching bye